guys, welcome back to isolation vlog week six. I cannot believe we're on week six, you guys. To be completely honest with you, I am feeling extremely anxious today. And it's like, I was anxious all night. I woke up anxious. Nothing is helping. It's not really the like debilitating kind of anxiety yet that I need to like lay down. But it's just there. It's just here in my chest and like my heart is racing and I just do not feel calm. And it just is what it is. So I'm gonna go about my day the best I can. Currently Bradley is out on a run and I um, just got ready for the day. Oh, my ring got stuck to my shirt. I'm in charge of the dog and he's crazy right now, which to be honest is not helping the anxiety. Aren't you supposed to be an anxiety dog? You're supposed to make me, okay. <laughs> you just beat up like a Ludo Lamar. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Do you have more to say? Or that was it? That was more than you've ever said in your whole life. So he's very feisty, so that's fun for me, but I think what I'm gonna do, I do need to work today, I need to edit last week's isolation vlog. It's actually Tuesday, it's not Monday. Not that that matters, but I think I'm just gonna pick up a bit. I need to pick up the table. Oh my God. I wanna make the bed, pick up a little bit in the bedroom. We just got a box from Grove Collaborative, which I will, um, this is not sponsored. That sounds like it's gonna be sponsored, but I do love Grove Collaborative. So I got a box from them, we'll unbox that. So I'm just gonna try and pick up, get some oils diffusing, try and calm myself down, and then get to work. It's already 12.30. I did not know it was already 12.30, Jesus. Yeah, and all I wanna be doing is playing Animal Crossing. It's really hard to tear myself away, but we're gonna tidy, make the bed, diffuse some oils and hopefully feel better. So here we go. to unbox my Grove Collaborative box and thought I would just show you what we got. Um, if you don't know, Grove Collaborative is an awesome website where you can kind of order like more natural home stuff straight to your door and it's come in handy this month because we can't really find hand soap anywhere else but Grove Collaborative had a ton of it. So I ordered that. We needed more laundry soap and I like to get it from Grove Collaborative. They do have what we like at Target but it's a bigger size. Uh, from Grove Collaborative and it's a little bit cheaper. So we just stocked up on our stuff. So I thought I'd share as I unbox it. So we got two of our laundry detergents. Um, I've talked about this a few times. We enjoy the seventh generation fresh citrus scent, just their laundry detergent. It has pretty good ingredients, not quite as good as the Young Living, but it's much cheaper than the Young Living one. It does, it smells really, really good. It smells very like mild, but really, really good. And it makes your clothes smell great too. So we got two of those. I'm just now realizing our bleach isn't in here, even though I know I ordered it. Maybe they sent it separately. So we also got our bleach from seventh generation. That's not in this box, but I'll figure that out. Got hella hand soaps for it. So first one is the Bluebell. They're all the Mrs. Myers hand soaps. They're my absolute favorite. Oh, it smells so good. So these are my favorite because they're the least like drying hand soaps I've ever used. I wash my hands all the time. My hands feel so dry right now. Um, so like these are just the most non-drying of the ones I've tried. So. I love the Bluebell. I've never tried this one, it's Plumberry. So I picked up that one, let's give it a sniff. Oh, it's delightful. It smells almost like um, orange sherbet. <gasps> sherbet, did you know that there's actually no R in sherbet? Mandela effect. I thought I ordered two of these, I could be wrong, but this is the Mrs. Myers Rose hand soap. Oh no, they wouldn't let me order two of the same scent. There's an airplane. So this, I've mentioned in favorites videos before, I freaking love this one. This is a new one this year for spring. 
florals for spring. Groundbreaking. Excuse me? It's from Devil Wears Prada. But I love this one. It's like maybe like my second favorite after lavender. And then since I love the rose so much, I got the room freshener, which I'm not usually into these because like I'd like to go a more natural route. Here we go. But this smells so good that I wanted it to like freshen up the couch. So I ordered that. So this is not sponsored. I do have like an affiliate link that if you use, you'll get... I think it's a three piece Mrs. Myers set for free, which I think you get a dish soap, a cleaner and a hand soap, which would be perfect for right now. And you get it for completely free. So I'll have my um, link down below if you wanna sign up, but they are well stocked on hand soaps. All my laundry stuff was there. Um, they have a bunch of different, like all the home stuff, cleaning supplies, you know, whatever else you need for your home. So I'll have that link down below. I've been using them for like two years and I totally love it. So just thought I'd share, now I'm gonna put all this away. ridiculously expensive plant stand is here. Here it is. And it looks pretty freaking glorious, not gonna lie. And it fits this pot perfectly and I'm obsessed. I think I'm going to spend some time dusting these leaves because it needs it. Maybe give it a water. And yeah, love it. Do you like it, babe? Yes. Okay, great. I'll have the plant stand link down below if you're curious about it, but yeah. Playing Animal Crossing, of course. <laughs> So guys, I placed another Lush order and you guys really enjoyed this like laid back unboxing of my Lush stuff. So we're just gonna do it again. And I've even ordered another box after this. Things just keep going in and out of stock and they're offering free shipping right now, like over a certain amount of money. I don't remember what it is, but of course I hit it every time. Um, so I just keep ordering and I keep using. I'm out of bath bombs again, so this came at a perfect time. So let's just go ahead and look at what I got. And like last time, some of these are repeats, some of them are new items. So I think I got this last time. This is one of my all time favorite bath bombs. The Blackberry bath bomb. It smells so good. This would definitely be in like my top 10 bath bombs ever. I love this, so got that one. Probably like top three favorite bath bombs is the strawberries and cream one. So it's this cute strawberry bath bomb, but in the middle it has like a bath melt consistency, so it's super moisturizing. Smells like strawberries and cream, it smells incredible. This is one of my favorite scent Lush does, so God. Smells so good, so I'm very excited about that. I should have ordered like five of those. I don't know what I was thinking. This one is new to me. This is called the Blue Gardenia Salt Cube. I really enjoy it. I think it's at the beginning of this video actually because my vlogs kind of got backed up, um, but I used the Rose Salt Cube and I loved it. So I'm really excited to have this one. Um, looks like there's like popping candies in there maybe, um, but it smells so good. 
Like so, so good. So I'm very excited about this. Then these are a bit on the cheaper side. If you're like cheap about the bath bombs, this might be for you. I mean, it's still freaking expensive for something you just throw in your tub once, but it's fun and it brings me joy. So, okay, anyway, <laughs> smells really, really good. This is a great one. I think this was a new one last summer. This is the Honey I Washed the Kids bath bomb. It smells just like the Honey I Washed the Kids shower gel or any of the things that have that like toffee honey scent. <sighs> like the Golden Egg bath bomb, the Gold Finger bubble bar, which I am obsessed with right now. That was in my last Lush haul, but um, I just love the scent. I love this bath bomb. And I believe that these, oh, I just spilled so much Lush dust on the carpet. Oh my God. I believe that these little orange things are um, bath melts as well, so. Love that one. And then just two more things. Next up is the Mermaid Tail Bubble Bar, which this was something I tried to get last time, but it was sold out, but I got my hands on it now. Not gonna lie, it came damaged, but I just squished the tail ends back on together. This smells incredibly good. It smells very citrusy and just bright and fun. It's like blue and purple shimmery. It's really fun. And I, I'm guessing these are bath melts from the way they felt. Um, so that's fun. So I'm excited to use that. And then probably what I'm most excited for, this is called the Bubble Bubble Toil and Trouble Bubble Bar. And it's just like a lightning bolt. Well, I think I'm holding it upside down. It's bergamot scented and it smells so good. This to me smells like old school Lush. This must have the same scent as something I used to use back in the day because wow. And this is like a really big bubble bar for, I don't know, like, I don't know, bubble bars are usually kind of like this size. So it's, you get a little extra bang for your buck. So that's fun. And it just smells so good. I can instantly tell I'm going to repurchase this based off the smell alone. <sighs> smells so good. So yeah, that was my little Lush haul. I did the, um, I put the packing peanuts down the garbage, or I can't speak. I put the packing peanuts in water to let them disintegrate. Uh, and then I noticed that this is super cute and I could like color that in. So I cut off some strips and I'm gonna color it in because that sounds relaxing and fun. since I've face-to-face -face vlog, I was just filming something else. Just filmed an intro, an outro to my recipe, my dinner idea recipes video. I will link that up in the corner. Bradley's very loudly playing Animal Crossing. And Sorry, geez. Look at him. This is the life. <laughs> I'm tired. Dog woke us up. Dog woke us up this morning. So he's sleeping under the gym. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. So it's Saturday today, we're just chilling. Not that the day matters, we're chilling every day. But um, I'm gonna make fruit dip because I have the stuff to make it. We have strawberries to eat, so why not? So I'll show you how I do it. So it's very easy and slightly trashy, but all you need is cream cheese and the, whatever this is, marshmallow like jet puff, it's very sticky. Um, usually it's like an entire stick of cream cheese and then an entire thing of this, but I'm just gonna do four ounces of cream cheese and then about half of this jar. Whip it up with a hand mixer, top it with some cinnamon, and then it's delicious. So I'm gonna make that right meow.
the finished fruit dip, a little cinnamon on top, just sliced up some strawberries. And then you just take a berry, you dip it right in, and then you eat it. So good. Okay. I'm fine. Good morning, friends. Actually, good afternoon. Just turned oh. noon o'clock. Okay. But happy Sunday. Um, today is just kind of choresy for me. I have a little bit of cleaning to do, plants to tend to. I might do some scrapbooking, which I'll, I'm going to show you all the scrapbooking stuff I got. But first and foremost on our list is to give the dog a bath, which he had. He's had one before. Didn't seem too traumatized for from it. And whenever I run a bath, he's interested in getting in. So I'm hoping that like. I'll be like, hey, it's bath time. So, we'll see how this goes. Buddy, you gotta go potty, and then you're gonna have a bath. It's gonna be so exciting, huh? Okay, go potty. <laughs> Can't hide under there forever. I see you. <laughs> hey friends, so we're back. I was just eating strawberries and fruit dip if it's in my teeth, but I got a PR package today, which is so exciting. And I thought I'd show you. And then I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got for, this is a really random <laughs> array of things, but I'm gonna show you my scrapbooking stuff that I got. But if you guys have been watching my videos for the last probably year or so, you know I'm obsessed with First Aid Beauty. They put me on their PR list, otherwise I probably would have never tried them, which is so awful. But so happy I did because so many of their things have become like my holy grail favorite things. So they sent over this, which is so cute. It's like a newspaper and it says new in from Fab and it has three new items and they sent them and I'm literally so excited to try. So. So first we have this weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide, SPF 30. So this is a more natural sunscreen, which I've never really tried. You guys know I use my SPF um, simple moisturizing whatever every single day, but a more natural version would be lovely. So I am very excited to try this and I love the packaging. And then it says even oily skin needs moisture. This is the Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. I'm sorry, I'm having focus issues with this camera. Um, I don't have oily skin. I'm still gonna try this out anyway because I love my Ultra Repair um, Intense Hydrating Cream for my body. So anything in that line, I'm going to try. So I'm very excited about that. And then probably what I'm most excited for is this eye cream because I love eye creams and I love First Aid Beauty. So this is the, I cannot read that word, niacinamide. It's this thing about peach micro pearls instantly bright so it's a brightening eye cream. Cannot wait to try it. Let me open this up. Whoa, look at this. It's like a peach color and it's kind of like shimmery. I cannot wait to try this. So I'm going to put all of these in my bathroom and start using them this week and I will let you guys know how I feel. So thank you so much First Aid Beauty for sending. I am literally so excited and I love all your stuff. Okay guys, and now I thought I would show you what I got for scrapbooking, which I ordered a lot of this a while ago but I finally just got in my prints. So these are all, it's gonna be an Alice in Wonderland themed scrapbook from my bridal shower, which was almost two years ago, I know. But I'm finally getting around to it. Um, and the photos were all kind of really dark 
and orange looking. So I downloaded a preset from Boss Babe Presets. I can link her website down below, I love her. She also runs a fabulous Disney Instagram, but um, I just did presets for all of them to make them look all the same and I'm like obsessed with the way it turned out. So here's all my photos ordered from Costco, of course. Here's a big one. There I am. <laughs> but so the scrapbook itself I got is this 12 by 12 scrapbook. They had eight by eight and 12 by 12 and I thought eight by eight would be too small because you know, I want to be able to fit a few photos on there. I also do have a bunch of Polaroids from the day as well, which are going to go in there, which is so fun. And then I got all this other stuff. So like I said, it's Alice in Wonderland themed. So I have a plethora of Alice stickers, which they have more on the back. Um, so I think this came with four sheets, which was nice and pretty inexpensive. I got the mounting squares. My mom used to use these as a kid when I was a kid and I freaking loved them. So I found these on Amazon as well. I got some cute washi tape just to like pin down photos in a cute way. But look how cute these are. And I can use these for other things when I'm packing orders and stuff, but they're just like floral. They were very anthropology, so I loved those. And then probably the coolest thing is this deluxe paper. Um, it's like scrapbooking paper. Let me open it so you can see all the different patterns. Okay, so you have this print, which I accidentally just ripped, but that's okay. Um, but it's this print, it's got Alice in the flowers. It's so freaking cute. Oh, and they're double-sided. Let me just take all these out, hold on. So the back has all like the tea cups, which is perfect because it was a tea party. This is so cute. Just some like mustard print on the back and then happy flowers on the front. Not quite the Alice flowers, but close enough. That's fun, some checkers on the back and then some rocking horse flies, bread butterflies, the dandelions and the pansies. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God, then you have the evil queen and the cards. And then just some like checkerboard print on the back. How did I not know this existed? This is so freaking cute. The Cheshire Cat with Cheshire Cat stripes on the back. You only get two of each sheet, which I mean, I guess that's okay. And then this really cute page that just says curiouser and curiouser with teacups or tea kettles and then teacups and tea kettles and the lanterns as well. So wow, I am so excited about that. I also have like a wedding box where I stored like a lot of the arts and crafts that I used at the shower in that. So I'll put that in this as well. I'll also print out like the games we played and fold it up and put it in here. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to like have a project and I loved a scrapbook. I made a senior year scrapbook when I was in senior year of high school and it's one of my favorite things ever. I love it. So I'm excited to make another one. So yeah, just thought I'd show you my scrapbooking haul. Everybody, don't mind my hair, I clipped it up. Um, the last clip you saw, I was scrapbooking and I'm not gonna show it to you yet. I'll show you more of it when I'm almost done. Very impressive. Done. Oh, thank you, it's very simple. I could have just made like a photo album, which I plan on doing for all of the other like wedding related things. But this one, I had like a lot of crafts and I found a lot of, as you saw, really cool Alice in Wonderland scrapbook stuff. So Alexa, that. how much time's left on my timer? You have four minutes and 10 seconds left on your nine minute timer. Sorry, did I disturb you? <laughs> um, so we, well, I am not doing anything. Bradley is making dinner. We have, oh, my favorite tilapia from Ralph's. I don't know what it's called, but I freaking love it. It's just like a frozen tilapia. Has good ingredients and I love it. He's making, what are you, some sort of rice, mushroom rice? Oh, he found it in his Men's Health magazine. He's making this 
sans the edamame. Shrooms and rice. I love mushrooms and I love those. rice. So we made mushrooms use yeah, we, he has broccoli in the oven. We have crescent rolls in the oven. So yeah, making dinner. If you guys want to see more dinner ideas, I just uploaded it today as I'm filming this, but it's up obviously now. Our like, we did a week full of dinners vlog. So I will link that up in the corner. I was pretty pleased with the way it turned out. I thought it was cute and like informative, but not too, like it was quick to the point. You got your inspiration, sure. you know? <laughs> yeah. Let's see that up glove. You like it? Looks good. Bradley's begging me to get rid of the up glove, but I love it. Love just it. Like, it's like college. No, I love now it. Now we're adults, we can get like proper, you know. No, I need mitts. to be able to use all my fingers with the oven mitt. Can we get one that's not from an infomercial? No, it's and too good. D and disgusting. Yeah, I've had that literally. <laughs> I'm not even gonna express how Here, long I've need, had that. You need your fingers. We got this. My mom gave me this oh, for no, Christmas. Oh no, it's not your fingers. It's just <laughs> that your is entire cute, though. palm. Um, so yeah, Bradley is making dinner. Ludo is eating his dinner. Ludo has his second, well, his third, I guess, round of shots tomorrow. Second vet appointment while he's with us. He hasn't gone inside all day today, and I'm holding my breath. We can make it. We've been really. He's been good about the poops. We had one accident this week, but like it was a fluke. He's Besides been, that, it's been like, feels like two weeks. He's been really good about going to the back door when he has to poop and then you take him out and he poops. You can kind of like really tell when he has to poop, but with peas, like he just goes so much and wherever he wants really. So it's been a struggle, but today he's had no accidents inside. So cross your fingers for us. Yeah, for the most part, he's a pretty good boy. He's very smart. Um, he is a pure demon about 20% of the day, wouldn't you say? Less. Okay, 10% of there the day. There is a two hour portion. Yeah, where he is just like barking and biting me. Like I have wounds all over my hand from him just like play biting. I'm not wearing my wedding ring because I got this, hold on. I got this bad one on my finger and it hurts. Bradley's hand, like we are, you know, this is like puppy life. One of my best friends, Chassie, also just got a puppy and we were FaceTiming with them. I don't know why I'm filming the dog. We were FaceTiming with them and they're like going through all this stuff and I was like, this makes me feel so like much less insane. But yeah, crate training is going pretty well. He wakes us up maybe like twice in the night to go out to pee, but it's really not that big of a deal. This morning he, uh, at, he wanted to go out at like six-ish. Um, Bradley took him out and then he got in the bed with us and he slept till 10, which was incredible. Or not till 10, 9.15, <laughs> which was, it felt like 10. Incredible for us. Um, so... Yeah, you guys have seen, I, we haven't shown any tricks in this vlog. I'll try to show like updated tricks in the next vlog, but he's still doing his tricks. He's very smart, but sometimes he's just too smart and too feisty. And yeah, Ludie, you eating your dinner? As you saw, he got a bath today, so he's extra clean and he smells really nice. So yeah, that's just a quick little update. After dinner, I am of course going to take a bath. It's about to get really hot here. Again? Of course. It's about to get really hot here in California and I'm gonna be less in the mood for baths. So I'm kind of soaking it in when it's nice out. We've got all the windows open. We're letting the breeze in. Oh. Alexa, oh. off! <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna take a bath and then if you have Disney Plus, you have to start watching the prop culture show. It just came out on Friday and I was I was waiting for it for like a month. I saw about it because, mainly because they were advertising for it with um, Nightmare Before Christmas. And you guys know that's like my favorite. In which we watched the Mary Poppins episode and the Nightmare Before Christmas episode so far. They were both incredible. I am, I cannot wait to watch more. So if you are like any, even if you're not a Disney fan, I feel like it's just a freaking cool show. So watch it if you're in the mood for something like that. So yeah, we're gonna take a bath. We're gonna watch that. Anything else to report? I got nothing. Okay, we'll check in later. Okay guys, so dinner was delightful. I'm gonna hold this up. So if you guys wanna take a screenshot and make it yourself, you can. Cause it was really good. We cut it out to save it. Um, so screenshot that if you want it. But now I'm running my bath. Probably just took the dog out. He's checking on the bath. So I used the mermaid tail uh, bubble bar, which is looking and smelling great. And I think I'm gonna use, I think it's called the gardenia salt cube. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. Oh my goodness. Hey, but I think I'm going to end whew, this vlog here um, for this is week six and seven. I'm sorry I dropped the ball on that. Hey, not the rug. Demon hour, so yeah. But thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see the other weeks of this isolation vlog series. I will link the playlist up in the corner. So thank you for watching. We will see you. In, what are we on week eight? We're on week eight. So we'll see you then. Stop, stop. We can do this guys. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay inside. Love you guys. See you soon.